Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see the basic overview of view inheritance concept in the Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a different types of views, especially the cohort view, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can go to here the playlist. In the playlist, you can see this playlist. Here you can see different types of playlists available here with different task cases and this is the main playlist right now. And if you have any doubt related Odoo and you need any support you can just go to about page. In the about page you can directly send your query to this email address. And apart from this you can also support this channel using two ways buy me coffee, paypal and using this join button. So let's back to our main topic today like how the view inheritance is working. So first thing is, let's say if I'm going to in the student profile, especially in the form view, not only the form view, like whatever the by default Odoo provided any kind of views, we can directly extend. So here, like let's say I want to update, like I let's say I want to remove this ID or let's say I want to add uh, another new field here. Or let's say I want to add here one more notebook, the new page or new group. I want to change the styles of this image. I want to just replace this name. Or let, like, let's say I want to update here the, the button, especially here. The, this is the selection bar. Or let's say in the Kanban view, I want to add more fields or I want to add some more attractive things or I want to disable some, some features here all right let's say here in this gantt view i want to change something here in this view or let's say in the calendar view i want to update anything or like let's say in the list view i want to add or update or uh, remove something or like let's say in the pivot view i want to add by default group by another other fields rather than the existing fields let's say this is a pie chart right i want to default show this line chart or else like this is a cohort view like i want to update this cohort view that is also possible using the inherit the views so first let's see the basic architecture of the xml schema how can we extend the view and then after we will see different test cases all right so let me go to in the editor who do training and here like let's say I will try to create a new module especially for the inheritance. So let's say I'm just trying to create a new module like school underscore inherit views. this manifest file I will copy in our new module and let me open this one and try to upgrade like school inherit views Let me copy this one here. So let's say I will add here one more thing is the dependency module which is this one the school underscore student. Let me remove all this XML files registered here. Let me also remove this demo data right now we don't need. right so let's say 
I will remove this code. So this is our manifest file here. <coughs> now I'm trying to create a new XML file. Student extend.xml UTF-8 Odoo and here we will start our inheritance of view all right so before we are starting to inherit any views let me open the existing views here to understand more let me unfold all so let's say this is our list view right for the school profile sorry uh, the student profile here you can see this is a tree view so now i want to up I want to inherit this view so how can I do so before we start to inherit first we need to understand the XML schema so XM, while we are extending any views we need to use like this we need to create a common XML architecture and then after we are good to go with inheritance construct all right so it is very easy for you to understand also irui.view here this is a compulsory model we are just trying to create in the previous uh, views right so like i will use here student list view extend then after here we have to use the name field here we have to use the model field and here we have to use the arc type equal to xml okay uh, temporary forgot about this one student list view extend and here we have to provide the model name the actual model name we are trying to extend so here is a school dot student let me double confirm you can see here let me copy this one and paste here to reduce our spelling mistake All right, so this is our model name school dot student and if you see this one this five lines of code one two three four and this is the closing tag right you can see here also similar like this one and this one this is a common architecture while you are extending any kind of views like let's say the list view kanban view calendar view cohort view graph view pivot view gantt view like any kind of view you want to inherit or like let's say extend that time this is the common syntax while you inherit the same views right so this thing we need to remember like this is a common architecture to create any kind of view plus common architecture to extend any kind of views in the Odoo especially in the backend side so let's say this is a new extra field we need to use which is inherit underscore id and by default we don't need to use a closing tag here closing tag means like this we don't need to use because this is a many to one field and here like we have to use the ref as the attribute if you remember like when we create a many to uh, relational fields in the xml side to create uh, some new records right so that time i already explained what is the purpose of this ref and here in this ref we need to mention the specific xml id xml id means this one like let's say i am just trying to extend this tree view so this is uh, this tree view have uh, xml id so this xml id is this one which we always use like this id as attribute equal to and this name so we have to copy this one we have to paste here all right and not only this one but if you see this view in which model this view is exist so this is a school underscore student right so we have to also copy the module name here and simple we have to paste here and between the module name and the xml id we need to use a dot notation to separate this both name so basically here 
we are trying to use module name then after dot and here we have to use XML view ID here I'm sorry like this so this is a module name is compulsory like if you are using like if you are extending the same view in the existing model that time you don't need to mention this name mention this module name otherwise like if you are working in another module right now in our scenario you can see we are using school inherit views and our module like our the existing view is available inside the school underscore student right so we need to compulsory use the school underscore student so that's the reason like Odoo and understand okay I have to like uh, extend the specific ID this ID from this uh, from this module only all right otherwise what happened if you didn't mention this one it will check only in the existing v module it will check in this module only all right so this is the main thing we have to remember and yeah so simple like our view architecture the inheritance architecture is complete here now like let's say i want to add here a one new field all right so here like i will see like field name equal to id then after I have to use the position and here I will add here name equal to write underscore that. Let's say I want to add this write underscore that in the tree view. So here you can see we don't have any write underscore that field. Alright. So in the position we have to mention the position like before or after or this ID. So let's say after. Like after this ID field. I will see I want to see the right underscore that field all right so let let me refresh the restart the service and yeah one more thing is here like let's say if you want to configure the Odoo service in the PyCharm automatically like you don't want to write down your whole uh, commands in the terminal you can just use the start restart or stop service in the PyCharm, I already explained how to configure. You can just check that playlist. All right. Okay, let's move on. Like I'm going to in front end side. I'm going to in apps. Uh, let me start the developer mode here and update app list. And simple here, I will add like let's say school extend. Oh, sorry, what is the name? okay okay you can see this is our module is available here with all the details and I'm trying to install this module okay I think I, I did one mistake here I didn't register this XML file in the manifest file here so like let's say views student underscore extend dot XML all right and I'm trying to re-upgrade the same module so let me upgrade the module here all right without any error it successfully upgrade and let me go to in the list view. you can see the right data is available here this is the right date you can see right so like this way you can extend your view any any views here not only the list view all right now let's understand one more thing is this this one so in Odoo you can extend the view using two ways like two tags using the field tag like this and using the X path all right so these two ways you can extend the views all right so what is the purpose of this one or oh, let's say what is the purpose of the x path when to use the fields and when to use the x path i will explain everything 
all right so you have to remember like these two tabs we can extend any views all right now we have to also understand the position also this position attributes so this position attributes it also comes in the field level as well as in the x path so here like in the position level there are five types of positions available now let's say here you can see after we already used right so let's say after then after before then after inside then after replace and the last one is the attributes sorry so let's say we are like using the after field like after this id field you want to display this field so you can you have to provide the after if you want to display this right date field before this id field then you can use the before position all right and like let's say not in the field but let's say in the group notebook or like let's say the page or label let's say in the common syntax like start tag or this is the end tag whatever it is like you can apply if any tag is available like this like this is a starting tag and this is the ending tag right like this as html if you remember so in, like if this tag is available and you want to display inside this field that time you can use the inside then after let's say you want to completely remove this id field right then you can use the replace so in the front end side it will delete this field automatically all right and this is attributes attribute means like if you see here sometimes we use here required invisible or attrs or like let's say domain or let's say any other attributes so those are the attributes for this tag right this is a tag and this name required invisible attrs domain and attribute like all like whatever the supported this names called as attributes so you want to change the attribute behavior or let's say you want to add a new attribute or let's say you want to override the specific existing attributes that time you can use this attributes here so these five types of positions available we will see one by one each and every sessions all right so don't worry about this one and in our next session will be like how what is the purpose of this one this field all right and then after we will see the x path and this different test cases i hope you understood the basic overview of the inheritance views right and in case you have any doubt related this discussion please comment below and see you in next session